Alright, so let's go through all the different checkpoints. So let's start with checkpoint 3, a 2019 uh, O-level question. So if this diagram show, showing a ray of light moving from medium S to T. So which row compares the medium S with medium T? So apparently you can see that medium S, right? The light is closer to the normal. So when you enter medium T, the light band away from the normal. So this tells me that the speed of light in medium T is greater. And then for medium S, right, the speed of light is definitely smaller. Okay, so uh, the next thing is let's talk about the refractive index of S and T. So since in S, right, you are slower, means that the refractive index is higher. So for medium T, you are faster. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, you, yeah, you are faster, so the refractive index should be smaller okay so uh, let's take a look at all the different options a light travel faster in s so this is wrong so part b light travel faster in s also wrong so for part c light travel slower uh this is correct now after that for medium t higher refractive index this is wrong okay so next thing is definitely is the last part lah. so medium s light travel slower T has a lower refractive index, so the answer should be Denmark. Okay, so checkpoint number four. A ray of light passes from water into perspex. So perspex is just something like a plastic, lah, a very special form of plastic. So it's the correct explanation of the refraction. So apparently you can see right, the light in water is uh, quite far away from normal. When you go into the perspex, you actually bend toward the normal. So this tells me that the speed of light in water is, uh, is greater than the speed of light in perspex should be smaller. So let's talk about the refractive index. So refractive index of water, uh, since the speed of light in water is greater, the refractive index should be smaller. So uh, perspex should be higher. Okay, so the answer, okay, let's take a look at all the different options. A, the ray of, the ray reflects away from normal because the speed of light is greater in perspex. Uh, so this is wrong. Part B, the ray reflects away from the normal. Uh, this is also wrong. Okay, part C, the ray reflects towards the normal because the speed of light is greater in perspex. Uh, also wrong. Okay, D. The ray of light, I mean the ray reflects towards the normal because the speed of light is less in perspex than in water. This is the correct answer. So same thing is Denmark. Okay, so of course, let's go to checkpoint 5, a bit of calculation. So we have this light in a vacuum right, striking a glass surface at an angle of incidence of 55 degrees. So in the glass, the angle of refraction is 33 degrees. What is the speed of light in glass? Okay, so first thing, let's... Uh, uh, of course, let's uh, eliminate one of the options. So option D confirm is wrong because you look notice one thing like four point five multiplied by ten to the power of eight meter per second. Uh, so this way already uh, break the law of physics already. Okay. So next is part C. Option C also you can uh, eliminate because uh, definitely in glass right the speed of light shouldn't be three times ten to the power of eight meter per second. Okay. After that, let's do a bit of calculation. So sine i over sine r so n is equal to sine 55 over sine 33 degree so sine 55 divide sine 33 right? you should get roughly 1.50 okay so uh, the refractive index of the glass block is 1.5 so let's calculate what is the speed of light in the glass so n equal to c over v uh, so notice one thing right they never give you the speed of light in vacuum so this is a question where we are required to know the speed of light in vacuum so speed of light in vacuum is 3 10 8 refractive index 1.5 so let's uh so rough of course roughly you do a bit of mental calculation you should get a b b for brazil okay okay let's move on Okay, let, uh, yeah, so this is all the different checkpoints.